Carly and Matt is a wedding photo and video business, and this year, in 2023, we shot the most amount of weddings for both photo and video that we ever have before. We did eight photo weddings and produced four wedding films for a total of 12 wedding-related projects in 2023. Two of those weddings this year were photo and video combos, two were exclusively video, and the rest were exclusively photo. As we begin to reminisce and look back at the year 2023 and what it had for us, here's a look at the gear that we used almost every single wedding no matter what. Our first most used piece of gear was the Nikon Z5. This has been our absolute go-to camera for 2023, so much so that we actually run three Z5s in our photo kit. We have a video coming up about why the Nikon Z5 is the best budget option for wedding photographers out there, but that's gonna be linked in the video later, so keep an eye out for that video about the Nikon Z5. The main reasons, it's affordable, it's got dual SD card slots, it's got amazing improvements to battery life, and it produces world-class colors that Canon and Sony becomes jealous of. Our second most used piece of gear was the Sigma 50mm f1.4. And when I tell you that this is my favorite lens, it is by far my favorite lens that I have ever used in my career as a photographer. We purchased this lens early 2023 after our first wedding and it has not left my Nikon Z5 body ever since. Out of all the lenses that we've owned in our photo and video career, this Sigma 50mm f1.4 by far produces some of my favorite images and when we shoot photo and video combo weddings, one of my cameras always has the Sigma 50mm f1.4 on it throughout the entire day. It's affordable when you buy it used. The contrast that comes out of this lens is chef's kiss. And I find the focal length is just exactly right for a wedding day. The Lexar 128 gig V60 SD cards. We've bought plenty of these in 2023 simply because they're reliable, they've never let us down, they're affordable, and they are 128 gig, so we rarely have to change them very often. On the plus side, the read and write speeds with them being V60s are great for backing up and editing on the fly. Our second most used lens this entire season by far has to be the Nikon 70 to 200 f 2.8 V2. Now in 2022, we had the F4 version of this lens and right before the 2023 wedding season began, we invested in the F2.8 and it is by far worth the extra money over the F4 version. The extra two stops of light that it provides over the F4 make it worth the extra money. And other than the 50 millimeter being on one of our Z5s, the 70 to 200 F2.8 lives on another Z5 throughout the day. But be warned as this lens gets heavy throughout a long wedding day. Next on the list of gear we used at almost every single wedding is a dual camera harness strap, whatever you wanna call it. It will save both your back and time as you won't have to reach down to switch a lens on the fly, carry a backpack with you to make sure all your focal lengths are covered. Now, most people use these throughout an entire day, but we exclusively use these during the ceremony as throughout the rest of the day, we really like to hone in our craft and specifically choose the camera and lens combinations for each section of the day. Next on the list of gear we use most in 2023 is the PGY Tech One Mo 2. This is the best camera backpack we have ever used in our lives and although it's a little bit pricier than what you can find on Amazon, it is absolutely worth the money and we used even when we weren't going to weddings in our personal lives as well. It's got tons of space, super affordable, very flexible, very light and super sturdy. Another piece of gear that we use at almost every single wedding are these Yongnuo YN560 Mark III and IV flashes. These things live either on our camera body or off, especially for weddings that get later into the season, starting in September, October, November, because if you don't have a flash and you're relying on natural light for your, <coughs> sorry, for your reception photos, and thinking that you can just crank the ISO and get rid of the grain in post, 
I'm telling you, you need to invest a little bit of money and get some flashes to add to your kit. Photos that really reflect the dance floor are super clean and crisp. And once you get used to actually being able to use a flash and understand how they work and how to work your camera and get creative with it, these flashes actually give you a lot of flexibility. Now, lastly, and probably most importantly are the Seagate four terabyte portable hard drives. I'm not kidding you when I say this is easily the most used piece of gear in our entire kit because we have three of them and we use each one of them as a backup of a backup of a backup. Now, believe it or not, these act as our second, third and fourth backup points because we want to make sure that as Wendy vendors, we are providing the best service that we possibly can. I'll be honest, there have been too many people that I've talked about, family members, friends, relatives that have said their wedding photos or videos got lost somehow because ultimately what happened was the wedding photographer videographer was not responsible with their backing up system. My advice from one photographer videographer to another is invest in how you're backing up your files. Let's be better. So those are all the pieces of gear that we used at almost every single wedding in 2023. Let us know if there was something down in the comments that you actually used more than any of the other ones, or if you have any questions about the gear that we have. Other than that, subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching. Leave a like that supports the channel. It means the world to me. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.